Visitors to Hawaii expect a warm welcome when they arrive, but that did not happen in February when a leaky roof at the overseas terminal of Honolulu Airport drenched tourists and their luggage during a rainstorm. Airport workers say it's a problem that's gone on for years. Tonight, we've learned about a multi million dollar fix. Alexander Zane joins us with new details. Alexander? Joe, the Department of Transportation says the project will prevent leaks for decades to come and that the entire roof at the international terminal might need to be replaced. Back in February, when the rain came at Honolulu International Airport, so did the leaks, with travelers all throughout the overseas terminal looking for shelter and being met with water falling from the ceiling. There have been issues with leaks in the past, um, and unfortunately, that's no secret. Um, and we want that to stop. I mean, we want to plug those leaks, repair the roof, and, uh, and replace the roof. The project that is now out to bid will fix the leaks in the roof and in the outdoor covered waiting areas of the International Terminal. Decades old drainage systems will also be replaced. It'll also, in addition to replacing the roof, uh, replace all the drainage uh, elements associated with that. So it'll be new piping, new downspouts, and new drains. The project is out to bid for an estimated cost of $10 million and, according to the state, should be completed by 2019. But for now, when it does rain, crews will continue to have their hands full. Crews have been doing a good job to go through and make sure the existing drainage and gutters and things like that are free of any debris or, or vegetation that might be growing out of them. So they have been doing a good job to make sure of those. This is just part of the work that's currently going on at the airport. There is also an ongoing modernization project, and I learned there is also an upcoming repaving project plan. Alexander Zanes, KHON 2 News.